Hi there and good morning. It's good morning for me as I'm filming this and I'm filming it on Saturday. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure about the level of my speaking. Um, I've got a bit of an ear infection so <clears throat> um, I've got no he hearing. I was going to say no sight in my ear. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> anyway... Um, so I'm filming this and it's Saturday, so you will actually see this uh, today. Um, it's my first day back at filming since after Christmas. Um, I have been doing some uh, cutting and thinking. <laughs> I've been thinking. Um, and I've got lots of, you know, piles laying about and, and stuff ready to, ready to get, get back on it. So I'm just going to start off by gluing these on to here. On the other side, it's um, it's a plain uh, paper. I did go through my 12 by 12s and pulled out uh, ones that I could use for backing things because um, I don't really use them. Um, I haven't got stacks. I've got... I've got more than <clears throat> more than I do need, but um, let's have a look. Ooh. Let's do those first, actually, and do those other ones uh, round it. So these are uh, ephemera pieces from from the kit, and the kit I'm talking about is the vintage blue. Hopefully, the kit will be available uh, in Etsy on the first. Um, <laughs> I am having issues. Uh, this is the first kit that I've done, you know, totally on my own. Um, so there's some things that, you know, I've got no experience of at all. So I've got no experience of um, doing the Etsy photos, which are totally different to, um, you know, making a product like a journal and taking photos you <coughs> you kind of oh i don't know put the images into it it's all a computer generated um thing so i've got to figure all that out i've had a, a play with it um and not got very far and <coughs> i tried to pre-list one of the kits on etsy <coughs> And uh, my files are way too big, so I've got to work out a way. I mean, I've I've zipped them, so <clears throat> you know that does crush them down uh, a little bit. But uh, yeah, they're still still too big. I've not got a half them, but um, I still need to get them smaller, which I've, I'm clueless about. Um, you know, different files and this, that and the other. So <clears throat> they may be late going up. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> so I'm working on my fifth kit at the minute. So <clears throat> the first two to go in Etsy, which are available uh, right now in Patreon, um, is this vintage blue and uh, the country country mouse um which has had several name changes <laughs> due to uh <laughs> denise keep calling it country mouse uh originally i called it meadow mouse uh, and she kept calling it country mouse and i kept thinking why didn't i call it country mouse i really like country mouse um so yeah i've i've changed it to to country miles uh, so yeah they they are up in the patreon shop um i have done a tier on patreon which is you know just a minimum the minimum you can put for a membership in in patreon um that allows you to to see the sh the shop um and hopefully you know the kits will go in that shop as soon as i make them they'll be up um, so they'll be at least in in there for about four weeks before um, they go on Etsy and they will be um, cheaper than 
the non Etsy. Not by, uh, you know, stacks, but um, they will be. They will be cheaper. Um, yes, yeah, so them two are ready. And I've made a third one, which is called uh, Dark Days. Which is... It's... Um, uh, it's got masculine pictures, but I would call it more a, a feminine kind of steampunk. So it's, it's a bit like the gentleman kit, but I think more feminine. So that's up in, in Patreon. That won't be in Etsy till uh, the 1st of February. And I'm working on another one called uh, It's a Fine Romance. Or just Fine Romance. And um, that's, that's nearly finished. So as soon as that's done, that will be up on Patreon too. And um, yeah, I've been planning uh, the 5th and 6th kit. So, um, it's it's a little bit different to, you know, doing videos every single, single day. There's more, um, like, thinking time needed rather than, um, you know, actual time at your, your desk kind of thing. So, I have wrote myself uh, a new schedule, which hopefully um, I'll be starting Monday which will, well, in it, I've put my breaks into it because I'm terrible for not taking breaks. I'm terrible for not eating. I'm terrible for not drinking. Um, I just come in here and kind of forget, forget all about everything. Um, so I've done that and I've put time in. Uh, where I exercise, where I do my yoga, uh, where I meditate, where I have even allowed myself time for reading because I've got loads of really interesting uh, books. I've been um, going for uh, Reiki sessions, so I've got books about that kind of things and crystals and all, all lovely magical things. Um, <coughs> so... Yeah, I've allowed myself some time for, for reading um, and, you know, a decent get-up time and and bedtime. and So we'll see how it goes. I think it will take me a while to, you know, fully be able to work, work to it. But, um, yeah, normally when I write myself a schedule, <clears throat> I don't... I, I don't like kind of think about breaks and things like that so hopefully it will start to create a bit more um, balance which will allow me you know the time to video and the time to uh, do do the digital side as well and then obviously plus the you know chatting and all the rest of it. So I have put a post up in the Facebook group, in Patreon and on Buy Me A Coffee, which is kind of all the changes uh, which which are happening, <coughs> um, you know, in Tutty Treasures um, for the new for the new year. No massive changes, just uh, I like, you know, I like people to know, um, you know, what I've changed and stuff. So nothing's a, a big uh, surprise so oh and I've put it in the community post on YouTube as well so hopefully somewhere along the line you'll have seen it what else have I got to tell you I thought I'd just do this first so I could um, have a have a bit of a, a catch-up on I'm, I'm not cutting them out great but um, that's fine once we think the mop it'll be it'll be fine um, yeah, I think I think that's about it in in the world of uh, Tatty Treasure. So as I say, it's Saturday here. Um, I've had a good a good week. Well, week and a half, two weeks off. I don't know. I feel like I've been off since the work started um, on my house. Uh, going back to you know when I had them new bathroom so the bathroom's totally done um new boiler and new bathroom 
the hallway is totally done the carpets down uh had a few little jobs done in the living room nothing nothing major just some new light switches and uh door handles and the doors and the frames painted because it didn't need um You didn't need a big a big job in there and uh, the pantry's all been cleared out and um, all plastered plastered up and painted and I've got some new uh, storage so all my uh, it's going to be for the you know dirty washing clean washing ironing board iron um, I'm calling it a laundry room but it's a laundry room without a washing machine in it but it's got you know everything everything else um, in there so that's all all done obviously uh, our builder has um, taken two weeks off for Christmas so um, everything's at, at a standstill and when he comes back next week well middle of next week um my new office is going to be started so hopefully um let's say in four weeks um i'll be out of this room and i'll be downstairs in totally new surroundings i'm going to hopefully take some video of um it from the beginning and um you know show you the transformation as it as it goes goes on um i don't know if that will kind of be in fast motion or <clears throat> if i'll you know just every day that is here just do a two minute update but join all the videos together um so so we'll see but i know some of you will be will be interested um and when it's obviously all done we'll have a We'll have a proper tour. I mean, I say a tour. It's a very small room, um, but it's it's going to be a really nice room uh, to work in. Um, you know, I've got got a vision of it, and um, yeah, hopefully it's um, it looks like like my vision. So it's going to look a little bit like a library, um, but it's going to have. A little bit of that um if you think back to the botanical architecture kit um it, it's gonna have a bit of that feeling to it as well maybe a little bit on the gothic um side and it's uh, got an industrial twist to it so <laughs> yeah i don't know what kind of um <laughs> what kind of genre you would um, call call that. Um, maybe a Tim Holtz, I suppose, um, kind of feel. So, yeah, I'm excited. Um, and obviously, you know, I've got to take um, everything down from up here and, you know, re-get organised and, and things. So, while the work's being done, I do need to get, you know, a little bit in front with with what I'm doing because I imagine you know the the moving from up here to to down there uh just my stuff and and um you know having a good sort out and and putting things where where they're going to belong um is going to be um you know a few a few days so that is that uh once once that's done uh this room is going to be uh, made into uh, a spare a spare bedroom. Um, Abby, my oldest granddaughter, is now ten, um, and I'm I'm thinking. I mean, I know she she loves staying and stuff, um, but I suppose she's getting to the age where she doesn't really want to sleep with Nana. Um, she's not said uh, that, but um, yeah, I'm thinking. You know. She might still now, but it's not going to be long, and she's not going to want to be sleeping with her nana. So um, we're gonna. It's again. This is a really small room. We call them uh, the box room. Um, so it just wants a lick of paint in here. 
good, you know, a good clean round, um, a new floor, um, and then a bed. And Ryan's going to bring his uh, computer up here. So um, it doesn't have to be in the front room when he's on it. It doesn't go on it that much. Um, but I want that space in the front room because I want to move the settee back and... Um, put this other little table in there which I, I've not got room for um, so that should be a quick job and then it'll be back downstairs uh, for the um, downstairs toilet I need a new toilet and I want a sink putting in there and the door where it currently is once bricking up and I'm having a new uh, door on a different wall um, because when the <laughs> very complicated uh, when the wall for the kitchen comes down um, I don't want the toilet door um, on that wall because that's going to be one of my main walls and I want a big radiator on there a double radiator so it warms the entire space space up so two walls are coming out to, to extend um, the kitchen um, yeah and then that'll be that'll be it the kitchen and yeah everything will be everything will be done um, you know we've not done anything in this house for 16 years apart from you know a lick of paint here and here and there um, so yeah it was um, <laughs> it was desperate for for overall and you know some modernization so i'm just putting uh some of the lighter ink which is the speckled egg i've just gone round with the is it something denim faded denim um and i'm just going round a bit with the with the speckled edge uh, egg just to give it a a different a different look and that's them nice and firm now with that at the back which you can write on so these will want some decoration so yeah I did sit and cut the rest of uh, this kit kit out so I'm gonna make um, the rest of the ephemera up what's in the kit and then we'll be able to to decorate um, these okay so that's those done that's um so these are like bookmarky uh ones which i thought was a, a bit different uh shape and then we've got these ones which which i really do do like i'm not a great tag lover um you know the the conventional um shape and stuff so um i really like those so there's some envelopes in the kit. Is there just two? Yeah, there's just two. Again, I've cut them out really, um, really shocking. So I'm just going to go around these edges before um, I put them together. Hopefully <laughs> they fit okay. So these are um, on one page. So you can get smaller if you do it two to one page i don't think i printed any out um like that um i think i just did them this size i may um unearth some i feel like my craft room's a bit chaotic because you know over christmas i have been printing things out and you know nipping in here and uh cutting things up and and stuff like that so and then with not being in here properly uh, you forget where things live so i think what i'm going to do to do the fold is i'm going to use my metal ruler and just use that to just press against it so i've lined the ruler up with you know a smidgen uh, before the fold so hopefully that will be 
on the fold. Yeah, that's lovely. So that's that. I have got a, um, you know, scoring mat, um, scoring board. But, um, you know, I know not everybody's got one. And uh, sometimes I'm not very good at getting that score. Well, more than sometimes. A lot of the time I'm no good at getting um, it in the score. And with these being, I suppose, quite... I want to say weird shapes, but, you know, with them not being um, square or rectangle, um, when they start off, I just think it'll be um, more more difficult. So I did print um, on the other side, so the inside is, is nice and uh, covered. And I did print these on cream so if you wanted a lighter version um you know you could print it print it on the white and it would it gives it a whole whole different look okay so they go in like so and that goes over like that lovely so I am going to get the ooh, let's see if this this works so i'm just i'm going to put some glue there will that work yeah and some glue there not across the top i've probably gone a little bit oh no i haven't thought i'd gone too too high so that's that one nice and sealed so I did them plain so they can be decorated and not only that, it means you can use them that way or you can use them that way because um, sometimes, you know, in kits, they've got an image on and you perhaps want to use it that way, which I use a, a lot of mine uh, that way. So that's that one. A bit of a, well, I don't know if it's a boring video or, or not. I suppose it's not everybody's cup of tea. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you, I suppose, you know, how I'm using the ephemera um, in the kit. And um, have a bit of a, a bit of a catch-up. So, I suppose I ought to go back in time and um, chat about uh, Christmas and things. So, <clears throat> I'll give you a catch-up on, you know, all things Tatty Treasure. Give you a catch up on um, the renovations. So I suppose I suppose now it's um, catch up on you know what I've been doing. Uh, you know before the holidays and um, and through the holidays. Let me just cut that down just a little bit. That's it. Lovely, love those um, type envelopes. So this one I'll just glue there and that, like so. Yep. Okay. I could use my bone folder to, you know, really go around the edges and, and make it nice and. <clears throat> nice and flat but I don't think there's there's any need and again I would probably use that that way but this is a nice size that it would fit on your page and you could glue it three sides have that as a pocket and that would open like so which I might use that that way because it's a bit of a different way uh, to decorate it so this is um like a, a tag pocket so it's just like so got this little um i want to call it a noggin um i can't think what it's what it's called uh, and this i'm just going to fold without the ruler which i'm never very good at um, so i must remember use the ruler 
so I've put that into the inside again I've printed double side because I knew that you could see obviously uh, that <coughs> I'm gonna have to ink around it because like I say it's atrocious uh, cutting which you know it it really doesn't matter if you're gonna ink it um you can you can get away with not not having perfect um cutting okay so that's that so i'm gonna glue that there and across there so i'm gonna go as thin as i can to make the pocket as big as it can be okay and then glue across there this flap you could take it off if you wanted and just have it as a as an opening uh kind of thing or you could take it off if you didn't want uh that extra it just gives you a bit of extra um room inside the pocket but it, it doesn't have to to stay on so that is that piece and then <coughs> there's this which is a triple tag which is you know made for in here but obviously it doesn't need have to be used that way you could cut them into three single ones you could cut the tab off if you wanted you could make this into some kind of you know fold out on your page um so you know different ways of of using it oh gosh a bit crazy so skink around that loving these blues okay i'm not going to ink it inside because i just think it will separate it you know if you want to to write in there um, I think that's fine for writing, perhaps, you know, something lighter would have been better, but, and that fits in like so, it's a nice little, little piece, you can obviously put that in a pocket, or that can be stuck down, you could stick it down two ways, and have that as a, you know, like so, you could put a hinge on the back, so you could go like that with it, um, yeah <laughs> so so that's uh that piece lovely what else have we got so this is uh like a tri fold again it doesn't have to be used like that you could take this piece off and this could be a large uh journal card you could obviously <coughs> take it off and do it into two and it could be two small journal cards or um two pockets and this pit side you could do the same just take that bit or you could have this bit use this as um you know like a stick that down it could be a, a fold out like so You could just take that piece and have that as like a side uh, tuck on a page. You won't want something uh, like that. You could use it as page decoration. You could also print this to, to a page. So you'd have, just needs being in just a little bit more. Um, what was I saying? Sorry, Colin's barking and he's, he's put me off. Not sure if you'll be able to hear him too much. I've got the um, door shut in here, so I don't, I don't think you'll be able to. I think you'll hear him, but not, not like you would have done before. So ink around here. So. If you wanted to use this as, as an envelope, you could just cut this down a bit, like so. Glue it down those two sides and you'd have a nice uh, envelope, which is nice, um, you know, to send for happy mail 
um, to put all bits of a, a femra in it. You can obviously use it. Um, I've lost my trail of thought, sorry. Yeah, so it can be, you can have pockets in here and it just be, you know, some kind of opening um, thing. <laughs> You could sew this bit into a journal and have this bit on one side and then you could um, add, this isn't a page, but, you know, stick that to it and that would be your other uh, page. It could just be like a big journal card and then you've got all that writing um, or it could be a little notebook. Okay, so that's that. And like I say, if you did two to a two to a page, obviously it would be totally different. Okay, so that's that one. Um, then I think one of these is a freebie. I'm not sure which is the freebie and which is the one um, in in the kit. Sorry. Um, so what I've done with these, I have cut some of them up to use these. Uh, separate pieces for different things which you know we'll do we'll do later not today later but later later but um these ones i printed two to a page and i thought what they could be <coughs> is one of the pages uh in my journal so you know i could decorate these up or they could be separate uh, writing things so these could just be for little notes little quotes um you know what whatever so in there i'm going to lightly stencil and stamp so like i say it's going to be uh, a page I don't suppose it matters because I am stenciling it. But I don't want to stencil it too dark because, you know, these could be writing uh, pages. And I've done them on, not card, but, I don't know, 220 GSM. So it's lightweight card. This one I've done uh, <clears throat> just one on a page and it goes that way. So you would have a plain page there, which I could obviously <coughs> stick some book page on, stick some more of the kit on, <coughs> do a sorry, <coughs> do a collage on, um, stencil it, whatever, and then in the middle uh, is plain. So I think I'll put some washi tape down there to fill that up. Um, so I'll just go around there. So we will. Um, you know, get these decorated so we can think about how to use them. I hope I've not been too much up up there. I've just just had a look and I am quite um, high up. Like I say, the arm <coughs> which I film on now is is broken, um, so I do have a new one ready for um, downstairs. So. Again, I will be glad to get get down there because obviously I've been filming in here for I think over three years now, and um, yeah, Rob, obviously things do need replacing. <laughs> I've, I've had a new light and and a new uh, you know holder for my phone, so that's that one. And then this one is just a single one. So obviously this can be uh, stuck onto a book page um, or some, say some plain scrapbook paper or something like that. So we'll obviously see when, when we decorate it. So that's those three. And I've not cut the pockets out yet, but they're... Um, the pockets so they still need cutting out so they can go up there 
Right, we, we're ready for decorating, aren't we? I will get on to my, um, you know, Christmas stories. <laughs> Not story stories, but, um, yeah, Christmas. Um, where have I been? What have I been doing? So, let's, let's have a look. That's going to be really easy to decorate. I think it'll probably only want um, a label. I said I was going to decorate that that way, didn't I? And we'll do that that way. Okay, so I think three things on, on the table is, is enough. You may have noticed my fabulous... Um, it's, it's like a kimono. I suppose it is a kimono. Um, which my uh, middle daughter, Lauren, bought me. It's from a company called... Um, Cyber, cyber jammies. I think that's what it's called. Um, and I, I'm wondering if they set up when it was um, COVID because it's like post box size. Um, you know, comes through through your door. Um, so I've cut some of the the butterflies uh, from from the kit like that um well, we could put a bit of a tape measure down there just to to break it break it up Ooh. oh I like that what's that we're going <laughs> we're going full full um Come on, Tonya, get your get your words out. Full, full butterfly. Full, <laughs> yes. But I'll just keep full butterfly. So I could put one of the uh, cute tabs here. Yeah, I like that. Obviously, it needs lots of inking because um, of my terrible, terrible cutting. I'm not keep apologising for, <laughs> for me cutting. It is what it is. Um, at least I got them. Oh, at least I got them done. Not maybe too too big. So I've done um, these little bits. Uh, one to a page and two to a page. I did the butterflies the same, but I think I've used a lot of the smaller um, butterflies. on um you know making the embellishments what we've done i have made a playlist um so if you've missed any um it's easy to go to go back i think i like that and perhaps if i put some <coughs> gauze behind it or something it will um make that stand stand out a little bit better so I'm fine with that one. Um, I think I might. I don't know if I'll perhaps do a bit of collage on on this one. Don't want to cover it too much because I absolutely love that. So we could perhaps. That's it's a bit more grungy that one. Yeah, didn't do any postage stamps for um, this kit, but I suppose, you know, these ones are very, um, can be used as, as like a, how you would use a postage thing. I like that. Yeah, so that's that one. Then we're going to have the tab on there. Didn't do any words either. I've not actually learned how to do uh, words. <sighs> They're probably really easy. So I'm using words which I think are from uh, the Midnight Meadow kit. I like that ray of light. And then put some material or whatever um, underneath. So that is that. I think why I ink, I can do my uh, chatting. 
I'm not going to decorate the tag inside. <clears throat> you could definitely um, decorate them because there's plenty of, of room in there with having that, um, what do you call it, gusset. Okay, I have to pause a minute. My, um, <clears throat> my mouth had totally uh, dried out. You can tell when you've not done videos. Obviously, I talk a lot um, off video. Like, you know, I am a talker. Um, but your mouth doesn't dry up the way it does on video. But I suppose normally when I'm talking, I would have a cup of tea in my hand um, while I'm chatting to somebody. Um, and, and obviously, if I've got a cup of tea in here while I'm filming... You know, I can't casually just be, be drinking it. Um, you know, I might stop and drink it once or twice. But, um, yeah, I can't keep, keep sipping sipping at it. I do enough, um, you know, stopping and starting and chatting and losing <laughs> where I am with, with either, you know, what I'm talking about or um, what I'm making, so... Yeah, I'd stand no chance if I was just sipping sipping my tea. So I have put um, a cough sweet in, so <clears throat> a menthol one. Uh, so if I do start slopping about, um, I am sorry. Sometimes I just forget it's it's in my mouth and just start, you know. Oh, I was going to put something behind that, wasn't I? Let's... Um, I like it going, going off like that. Oh, yeah, like that. Like that, like that. I'm going to leave the butterfly pretty, um, say, fluid. I suppose it is. Um, I'm just sticking the middle part down. And I know they get flattened in your book, but I just... I just like the idea of keeping the wings free just in case it wants to to fly off so I've got some <coughs> stuff at the side of me so let's just try and pick oh I thought I'd glued that down oh must have just had a little bit of glue on it um no oh, that would be perfect wouldn't it I would prefer it that way with the tear thing down it but that uses quite a bit. I'm, I'm going to be mean and go crossways. <coughs> Need to get all my um, scissors <coughs> sharpened. Should have done it while I was off. Uh, and while Ryan was off. But um, yeah, since the hallway has been, been done. I've never been one to shut, shut doors. But because... All the painting's so lovely and we've had new, you know, door handles on. I've kept all the doors shut upstairs because um, it, it just looks looks nicer. Um, so, <coughs> with um, the craft room door being shut and obviously, you know, having time off, I've kind of, some days, you know, just totally forgot that it's it's there. You know what I should do? I wonder if I can just pull that up. Come on. I could if I could get hold of it. I've got no no nails. Right. I'm gonna have to put some some more glue on it. Might need the fabric tack now. We'll see. We'll see how I get on. So that was just a bit of um, a fluffy, fluffy wool, eyelash trim, that's what it's called. <laughs> I always forget what it's called. Set. Can't even see that lace anyway, really. You would tell if it wasn't there. It's one of those, isn't it? Ah, that's lovely. So that's that piece. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so that says pocket and um, tag. 
So I need to ink around here. I'm going to have to do it <clears throat> in the dark. Where's my other? Oh, I'm going to catch things in my big sleeves, aren't I? So, yes, I had started talking about my dressing gown, hadn't I? Um, so this was one of... One of, well, it was my Christmas present off, off my middle daughter, Lauren. And um, she had said before that um, she, she's she got these kimono. So we was talking about dressing gowns and, and she said, you know, she loves being in hers and I was the same. And I was like, oh, you know, because they're so fluffy. And, and she was like, oh, no, I don't have uh, those sorts. She says, I have, like, kimono ones. And I was a bit like, oh, I how can you not have fl a fluffy dressing gown? Um, you know, I love a fluffy dressing gown. And um, she said, oh, no, these um, these ones are, uh, you know, are lovely. The material's really nice. It's dead soft. Um, and then, you know, she bought bought me one. And, <clears throat> well, when I opened it, I felt, felt the material. I don't know if it is cotton. I've not... I've not had a look, but it, it feels uh, like cotton. Um, maybe it's got a bit of polyester in it, you know, for that silkier feeling. But, um, right, I'm just looking for something. I wonder what the crocheted trim if I can find, find an end. Might want some, some blue instead, but we'll see. Yeah, maybe. Um, what about this? Let me just cut some of that off. And yes, now I'm, I wouldn't say I'm totally converted because uh, I still love um, a fairy dressing can, but I absolutely love these. Um, so I went on the website and they had got a bit of a sale and um, I've bought myself another one and the matching nighty um, and it's kind of like... It's it's very like this kit to be honest when I think about it. It's this kind of pattern, uh, but more Aztec -y. Um and I've bought it and I've put it away for my uh holiday in June when we go to, to Greece to take my mum's ashes. Um and I thought that would be a very nice um, sleeping, um, yeah, sleeping <laughs> outfit. <laughs> Would you call it a sleeping outfit? Sleeping attire. Oh, you know what? I've been cutting that off uh, there. <laughs> How naughty. Oh, dear. <coughs> right, I wonder... Yeah, I think I will. Finding ends is, is difficult, isn't it? And um, a short set, so a, a little light like, shirt and and um, shorts, which I've I've actually got on. Um, now I thought they hadn't got the matching nighty to this this gown because um it had gone uh to sale and um they'd sold sold out of it um so i thought oh i do want you know something a bit matchy so um it, it's navy <coughs> just navy blue uh plain but again so comfy different material uh to this but still so soft um for those of you who don't know, I've got uh, fibromyalgia, so we're very sensitive to 
uh, things on his skin um, and stuff and it, it's just got that really nice feel. Oh, I love that. So, that's that one. Yeah, nice. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I got some lovely uh, presents. Didn't get, get many, uh, but what I did get um, was, you know, absolutely fabulous. Um, Ryan really treated me and bought me um, a long uh, gold chain. Um, because... I've got my mum's, well I haven't got, got them on at the minute, but um, my mum's ashes are in um, like a glass acorn, what I wear around my neck, and um, an oak leaf. And I wanted them on a long uh, chain, so so it lands, you know, right in between, between my chest, um, so it's more heart-centred. And um, yeah, he bought me a lovely chain, but I do need to take um, the pendants and the chain to the jewellers and get some, you know, bigger clasps put on them to to fit because uh, the clasps don't fit over. I don't think I'm going to put any paper on there. I think that's jolly enough. I'm going to do that up there so we've got this dark going round here. Um, again, I'm just going to go around the edges because with not uh, gluing it completely down, I think if you just put something around the edges, you've not got, oh, I can see those white edges. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to take it to the jewellers um, next week, some of the dentist and there is a jewellers up the street from from there and uh, I did go on Google and and check if they did do that kind of uh, thing and they do and they do it there and then uh, so I've not got to to leave it because um, I don't know how I'd feel about leaving you know <coughs> my mum's acorn there so um, yeah that was that um, pop that in there I think it needs either a bigger label or um, some paper or, or something. So let's go. Ah, that's better. And I'm not going to put anything under that one. I'm trying to think what else I had. I had a beautiful uh, picture, which <laughs> I had gone shopping a few weeks before Christmas with my aunt, um, who's my mum's sister, and I saw this lovely picture, and I ummed and aahed, because I, I loved the picture, I just wasn't sure if it would go in, in my bedroom or not. Um, I knew size-wise I'd got a wall that would fit it, but... I was unsure about the, the colours. Um, so I said, oh, I'll have to check, you know, my room and, and see. I like that. I think it needs... These are those um, things that are ripped from those stamps, those sample stamps. Um, I have managed to get hold of the, the ones that I originally wanted. I don't think that goes, maybe. Oh, yeah, that goes. Um, I'm going to vintage photo around it. And I don't have another dobber, so what am I going to do? <laughs> I'm just going to try and get some off um, and when I got home I, I rang my auntie and I said oh yeah it would it go really nice in my room um, and obviously it was going <coughs> close to Christmas and I said you know I'll chance it and we'll go back in the new year because the shops were starting to get you know really busy 
uh, by then. And I am somebody who's finished Christmas either at the end of November or right at the beginning of December, only because I can't stand uh, the rush, the push and the stress of of doing it in December. I still like to go and have a look at the shops in December um, and if I see something that's lovely but if I don't it doesn't it doesn't matter because um, I, ju I just think then y you end up buying things that perhaps you wouldn't have possibly bought um, just because you're looking for a present for somebody and you know you've just had enough for looking so I do tend to pick things up through the year not not loads but if i see something for somebody and i think oh that's just perfect um i do especially for my aunt and, and my two two older daughters um because i buy them you know quite quite a bit um i don't really buy for Alna before because well she's a teenager and you know one minute she loves something and one minute she hates something so I don't I don't really um she's probably the last person I buy for and her birthday's right at the beginning of November so I like to see kind of what she's had for a birthday uh to see you know what she what she needs so on this one, as you can see, I'm I'm just going to add um, a lace topper. I might put a label on it or a word. This is a really gentle uh, blue. It's very pretty. It's paler, paler than baby, baby blue. Well, that's nice. Okay, let's have a look at Secrets of the Woods. I mean, it is in a kind of wood. Oops, have we got Wisdom? Oh, got Gratitude. Let's have Gratitude. I love that. Right, I'm going to do that with <coughs> the vintage uh, photo. Just to make it stand out a little bit I forgot what I was on about I kind of know what I was on about but I don't know where I was in my in my um, in my story oh I've, yeah I think I was still saying what, what I got for Christmas oh yes so she'd bought She'd bought me the picture. So she turned up on Christmas Eve um, with my presents. <laughs> She'd wrapped it and it, it's a massive picture, really long. Um, I will take a, a photo of it when it's up on the wall. Um, yeah, I like that. Perhaps could have done with something underneath, but um, I didn't say... So. And I'm not going to rip it, rip it up. I wonder, have I got a tiny number or something? There's, there's quite a lot in this tray because it's obviously quite full. I like, oh, that one would be better. It's a better tone um, for it. So, yeah, she'd, she'd wrapped it up and um, obviously as soon as she got it out of the car and I said, oh, I wonder what that is. <laughs> she said, I've, I've even wrote on, on the tag, I bet you can't guess <laughs> what this is. So, yeah, that was that was lovely because, um, yeah, I had really wanted it after um, and I did think, you know, I'll perhaps go back and it, it won't be there. Um, so, it's of a woodland... Um, very green a um, bit grungy grungy green and it's got um deers it's it's quite a i mean if if you've ever seen deers 
um, you know, in the actual wards roaming free. I always think it, ugh, I mean, I've only ever seen them twice. You know, I've seen deers lots of times, but, um, you know, more at stately homes and things like that. But, um, you know, in the actual wild, I've only seen them a couple of times. And um, I'm, I'm always quite, ooh, when I see them. And uh, let's just rip this down a bit. Oh, I like that. I wonder what this would look like with a tab on. Let's have a look. I mean, I could. I mean, I don't think these are quite thick enough, but I could have that as a, as a tab. too big but um that one will probably go nice. I don't know if I like that shape on this though. No, I think this shape's better um on those. Or that shape. Yeah that shape I want. And, uh, that might be nice. Um, just have a look and see what other tabs I've got. Oh, I like that. Let's go with that. Right, so I'm going to go vintage photo around this. And yeah, she bought me some, some lovely um, other things. Um, some, you know, like spa um, products and, and things. Um, you know, the stuff that I love. <laughs> so, yeah, that was uh, very, very nice. Some really nice uh, chocolate from Hotel of Chocolate. Um, oh, some, there was violet creams and um, rose creams. Oh, absolutely delicious. Yeah, so every, everything that I got, I really loved. Um, you know, there was things that I would I would buy myself. Um, those, you know, those luxury type um, things. So, yes, I was very happy. Um, the lovely Denise from Junk Journals Junkie UK uh, but sent me before uh, Christmas... Um, off my Amazon uh, gift list, she uh, purchased me uh, Tim Holtz stencils, uh, Christmassy ones, well not Christmassy ones, um, you know, winter botanicals, um, so I have put them away because I would definitely be doing lots of winter botanicals next year because I didn't really do autumn this year um, or um, Christmas. Because, um, you know, I wanted to get on with um, getting in front with, with making uh, these kits and, and things. So, yeah, you you know, sometimes you, you've obviously just got to pick and choose what what themes you can you can do. Uh, some years I tend to, you know, do months and months of like autumn and winter and I've got lots of autumn winter um woodland type videos um on my channel so if you go to my home page um all my playlists are on there yeah that's nice okay so that's that one really easy uh, decorating. I don't think I'm going to have time to do 
anymore. I don't feel like we've done done a lot. Um, that can obviously be really simple. Um, I might go with the lace again with that at the top. Do I have any more of that? Pretty. Oh yeah, probably just just enough. So I'll stick that on there. Um, do you want a label on everything? I don't think I'm going to put a label on there. I think I'm going to keep that really um, neutral. So I can obviously do that off screen. Um, I was thinking if I would like to... Oh, that's... She looks lovely on there. I would like to use... Um, Tim Holtz person. <laughs> so, and I like it just on on there because these are like a tile and there's that crease there. So I do feel like she's kind of got something to to sit on that she's not in in midair. I don't know what I want at the side of her. I don't know if I'm just thinking of, um, you know, a more vintage um, label. I've got this. Ooh, I like that. This is some uh, paper from Taperology. It's um, like aged, and some of them are like as if they're burnt uh, around the edges. I do have a coupon code as well for Taperology and you can find that uh, down below. I can really do with, um, and I thought I'd got some out, maybe I put it away, some of the cream of this. I don't want to blue everything. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. I think I might have, that's maybe a bit too similar, I'll tell you what I could do, I could half these, um, these circle ones are from the gentleman kit, so yeah that could be the uh, tab. Obviously, um, a bit neater than that, and I still probably want a word or a, or a label. Let's see what's going off in here. Little bingo ticket. Yeah, I like that. Perhaps bring it down a bit. Yeah. That was uh, a bit from Tim Holtz, um, you know, bits and bits and bobs of ephemera. Can't put that. Florist, no. And dog with care, I like that. I do like that. I'm just wondering if I can get a legs to come over there. It's just so... Ah, I'm going to leave those out because I can probably use those on the thin um, bookmarky type. I've got these stickers as well. I think I'd need something longer than those. What else have I got to decorate? Oh. Yeah, I won't, I won't keep those out. Um. So, if I... She would need to be there. So... I'll move that. Uh, 
Yeah, I think something something like that and then that on. So that's what I'm going to do uh, with those two. So when I come back tomorrow, which is going to be when my phone's charged up today, I'm going to um, film it. We'll do these ones. I know I've got some of those tassels somewhere which I wanted to put on them. Um, we'll make these into pages ready and um, we'll make this into a scrappy uh, notebook. And I wanted to try a closure which um, I've not done uh, before. It's nothing, you know, um, earth shattering. Um, I've seen them before. I just have never done one and I don't know how to do one but we can we can work that out between ourselves so if we get that done tomorrow that will be the ephemera done apart from the pockets now i think the pockets they are all very jolled up so i think apart from perhaps putting lace down them which i can do as i'm using them I don't think I'm going to decorate um, them. So it will be a case of just putting some lace down some of them or across them and maybe, you know, a number, a label. So I can do that as I'm using them. So I'm going to put that, you know, with the kind of done ephemera because um, I don't want to decorate everything and then everything be too, be too chunky. So I'm going to put those photos over there. So I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to have to finish my story off tomorrow, which again, I'll be filming later today. So you'll probably still see me, obviously, in, in this. Um, and thank you very much for um, meeting with me today. <laughs> I don't know why I wanted to say that, but I just did. Um, I really appreciate it. I appreciate your time. Um don't forget to give me a thumbs up leave me a comment um i do answer every single one sometimes it takes me a while but um yeah i always do get get around to it i do like um you know answering back and yeah if you're not subscribed please consider subscribing and um I will hopefully see you tomorrow. And like I say, if you've missed any of these videos, I think there's probably, this is probably the 11th or 12th video. Um, so, yeah, um, you can go back and, and catch up because I know, you know, a lot of people have been visiting family and running around like headless chickens and, and all the rest of it. So, that is that. I'm going to just put my lids on before I give you a wave goodbye. So, until tomorrow, thank you very much. Bye for now.